Hello and welcome to Colarts TV and today I'm going to give a Photoshop tutorial on uh, enhancing your image using lighting. So a couple of people have messaged me showing me their work on via Facebook or Instagram and some awesome work but uh, and they've asked me how they can enhance their, their, their artwork, the characters and whatever. Now I've noticed when people, some people are sending them in they've got their artwork like this, like this orangutan I've done here um, which I'm currently working on but it just feels like something's missing, like it's a bit flat and there's something really simple you can do to fix this and I'm going to show you this technique now it won't be very long, it's like 15 minutes probably maximum uh, and it's, it will just lift it up so much and that's uh, using rim lighting around the edge of the character so I've got two light sources here, one coming from this light here and one coming from this fly, <laughs> whatever it's called, uh, shining on here. This one's going to be closer, so that one's going to be brighter and that one's far away. Obviously that's not finished yet, that's just uh, an example of so I know where the light's coming from. So all you got to do is open up a new layer and then we're going to go to our brush, get a nice soft brush. This is just a Photoshop standard brush. Let's get our yellow. Uh, yeah, we'll have, have that one. And then bring our opacity right down and bring this up a bit more and a bit less. Okay, let's zoom in a bit so we can see what we're doing. And all we're going to do is, where the light's going to come in and catch on him, will be around all these edges. All around here. Obviously it's not going to hit it around here because the light's not hitting him. That will be coming from that. I'm only going to do the character. The, the whole, all this would need it as well. But I'm just going to show you, for the sake of the tutorial, how to... Uh, do it on here. So yeah, we'll start on his face. We're just gonna get around his face, just here, like that. Around his forehead, and his brow. Right here. There we are. Okay, and then we move on to the next bit. And all we're going to do here is add another layer, go to our color, go a bit lighter, uh, bring the opacity up a bit, and we're going to change our brush to a, a more harder brush. Right. And then we're just going to go around the edge, not as thick as this is catching it, just more around the edge. Just like that. Probably make that a bit smaller. And then go around everywhere where you've originally been with the yellow. And there we are. And then the final bit for this side, we're going to go more white, uh, bring that right up and bring the brush down a little bit, maybe not too much. Oh, and add your layer, make sure you add your layer just in case you need to where to sit. And then just on the edge, 
where the light's catching him. You could probably use a harder brush for this. Let's have a look. Uh, nah, we'll stick with this one. I'm going to bring the brush down a little bit smaller. You don't need too much with this one. Just enough so it's catching the light. And already you can see that's lifting the image up quite a bit. Okay, so that's that side done. Now we're going to do the opposite side and it's pretty much the same thing but as that light's further away it won't be as harsh as this light coming in. So we're going to add another layer have I added it? Yep. And then we're going to go for the blue. Um, I'm going to use this blue. Let's go for a softer brush. A bit bigger and bring the opacity right down. Let's have a look. There we go. And then just start painting it in. And then, same as we did before, get your harder brush, bring the opacity up a bit, bring your um, size down, add your layer, and then go over it again. Okay, and then I'm going to add my white. Probably could have gone a bit light, light with that one, but add my layer. Bring the opacity up. I'm going to keep the same brush. Probably, um, probably the same size. And then just your bit of light where it's catching it. There we go, and you can see that has lifted him right up already. A little simple technique of just a couple of strokes. And there we are. And just by doing that, you can go from this, where the, color, the picture looks flat and it's just something missing. And just from doing this bit of rim lighting, it will lift it up just that much. So there we are. There is other things, like obviously, different materials reflect lights a different way. So when I come to doing all this, it will affect the lighting differently. So it might not be as harsh or as bright. Um, like the metal here will be brighter then and catch the light more than the wood but that's a video for a different time this is just to help you push your characters that little bit more 
um, an experiment as well. Experiment with what happens with different color lights I and mean, lights from different directions and how it affects. It can really change the image as well if you have it from different directions. And there you go. Um, if you have any questions, please comment on the comments below or reach me on Facebook with the link found below or on my Instagram, which I think is Colarts UK. Um, and yeah, I'm Cole. This is Carlotts TV, and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.